begin this segment from the Nigerian Stock Exchange. The market was on the red 0.07% down at midday after the two-day Muslim holiday. Now, let's see what the numbers are saying now as we count down to the sound of the closing gong. Temple Ashadjo, my colleague, is live at the trading floor. Good afternoon, Temple. How are we doing today? Now, the market seems to be on a slow start after the holiday. What are the numbers saying now? It was down 0.07% at midday. Has, has it changed or what has changed? Uh, well, Shimbeze, I don't think much has really changed from the uh, performance of the market, the level of movements that we had earlier. Uh, as we speak, uh, the banking index is down again by about 0.7%. Uh, and we've also seen the consumer goods sector deep in. When the market opened a few hours ago, the banking, a few banking names were actually enjoying the uh, positive sentiment of investors, uh, the likes of Guarantee Trust Bank, uh, Zenith Bank was even up by some 0.46% uh, after investors actually went for uh, trading 22 million units of shares on that company. But currently, the index for the banking sector is down by about 0.7%. Uh, We've also seen a uh, sell-off in, uh, in Access Bank as well as uh, 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 ETI, that's EcoBank uh, Transnational Incorporated. And we see this keep going on affecting the uh, major uh, sectors in the market. The only sector that seems to be up right now is the oil and gas sector, where O and O has enjoyed over 5% uh, of gains in the market. And in terms of volume and value, we've seen about 1.2 million units of shares traded. We've also seen about 2 billion Naira uh, worth of uh, transaction uh, across counters at the moment. Jim is it? Okay, just uh, a quick one, Temple. We just have one day to say goodbye to the trading week. What is the outlook looking like for the rest of Friday? Okay, I don't think things are going to change. Uh, basically, things are looking down at the moment. If we don't see any significant movement in Dangota cement, I see the market closing southwards this week. This is because we've seen a lot of uh, profits taking, we've seen a lot of sell off uh, in the banking names, as I said earlier, as well as the consumer goods sector. Consumer goods, currently, you have uh, champions breweries. Uh, investors are selling off on that. A couple of investors are going for. Uh, names like international breweries in that same sector, but it is more like uh, load shedding in terms of investments. They keep taking uh, the profit while selling down or uh, on the greater portion of the stake that they have in the sector. Uh, so basically, the market is likely to close southwards this week. Recall again that the uh, Salah holiday has just ended. We don't really have much brokers, much traders on the floor as we speak. I think a lot of uh, the traders that would have probably brought about change into the market uh, are probably hanging out there waiting for this week to end before they then make entry again next week. All right. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Chair, for those updates, Temple.